How does it feel? You had me scared for a minute when I saw you bleeding, but the bullet was just a graze. Look, thank you, Riley. You really put your neck on the line to save me from those hitmen. Not a lot of women would help protect a crazy lady who runs up to them in the street and claims to be a UN nuclear inspector on the run because she stumbled onto a plot to blow up Dubai. Even if you are an ex-CIA secret agent turned private security consultant, that's going above and beyond. I feel safe with you. Like you'll protect me from anything. And I want to... Thank you. I don't want to sleep alone tonight. I know we're both women, but I need you close. I want you to... Cut! Oh, come on! What is it now? Jesus H. Christ, how many times are you going to make me and that lead actress both reshoot this one scene? Oh, the feel wasn't right, director? It didn't feel sincere enough? Well, excuse me if it's hard to be sincere when I've had to do the same love scene six times and counting. We may as well just improvise the whole thing. Hey, don't blame the rookie. She's doing great. I am calm. Yeah, you know what? That's a great idea. Take five. You all heard him. Can I have a rope and a water bottle? Thank you. Jeez. <sighs> That's better. Finally alone for a moment. Hope I didn't scare you there, rookie. People tell me I could be a bit of a diva. Hey, and when I was yelling at the director, you looked like you just was hoping the earth would swallow you up. I've been doing this for a while. I know the ins and outs and want to stand up to someone. But you, I mean, you play the no fucks given tough girl so well, it's easy to forget this is your first big movie. Assuming production doesn't get shut down because your co-star and the director strangled each other. <laughs> But seriously, though, take it from a pro. You're doing fine. And you're not just a hard body butch goddess with abs you could grate cheese on. You can act. Not that this god awful script is giving you much chance to do it, but it'll be a great way to show your, your skill and get your name out there and showcase your talents as an action star. The annoying thing is, they could just leave this whole damn sex scene out and nobody would notice. Just have the characters tumble in the bed, fade to black, but oh no, it's essential for characterization. Yeah, sure. Essential to titillate the head guys in the audience with some girl on girl while the studio gets some easy representation points, more like. Though... <laughs> It was cute when you got all flustered about showing your bare ass. Don't know why, but it's not like it's something to be embarrassed about. Seriously, you're looking almost as hot as me. <laughs> Good for you. Sticking to your guns and not letting them glam you up too much in makeup. You look awesome as is, and I've got that side of things covered anyway. But I totally get how it's a bit intimidating when you're on your first multi-million production. Of course you're nervous. Stripping in front of a bunch of total strangers, especially when the director's being bitchy and blaming you for the scene not working. I mean, if it helps, first time I ever took my clothes off on camera, I was the same. Total wreck. Then, like, three new scenes later, I'd be all like, hey, I'm just nipping back to my trailer to take a call. And they were like, um, do you want to put some clothes on first? <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. It's not so bad. <laughs> but uh, let me ask you something. 
Was that the real reason you were getting embarrassed? Being a bit self-conscious about showing off your body? Or was it something else? Well, you just seemed like you were getting a bit funny during that bit where we stumbled across the room and fall into bed. A little bit awkward. Like, it felt a bit too good. And in that take, you misjudged the fall and nearly landed on my face. I could smell a little something. <laughs> Someone was getting a bit excited, weren't they? Hey, 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 no need to get embarrassed. You were a pro about it. Didn't make it weird or anything. I told you, I'm a professional. I'd raise an eyebrow if you didn't get aroused. You know what I mean? By rolling around in bed with the most famous and the most gorgeous lesbian in Hollywood. Though I'm kind of impressed. Getting turned on when you got the light speeding down, a whole lot of random strangers surrounding you, and our beloved director yapping in your ear about how you need to grab my ass a bit harder after you already done it five times. Hard to feel sexy or make it look like you're overcome with lust, isn't it? Nobody would blame you if you just wanted to get it over with. So, I mean, I guess if you're getting wet, you must really enjoy working with me, huh? Hey, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> but it does give me an idea. Look, this is meant to be your big break, right? We want your performance as Riley Silver, rogue agent, to be something that everyone's talking about and for it to make you into an overnight icon. So this can't be less than perfect. I'm serious. Two open lesbian headlining a summer blockbuster with an explicit romance subplot. No subtext bullshit. This is huge and it means a lot for all of us. I don't want to mess this up this chance, you know. So the audience have to believe you're seductive enough to make James Bond look like a slacker. They've got to really believe your character can make my character's panties drop with a come hither glance even though they've known each other for less than a day and they spent most of the day in the car chase, jumping across rooftops and dodging assassins and then make her moan all night. And frankly, we're not going to do this with the script. I mean, you want to have a semi-detailed sex scene in your movie fair enough, okay? But if you're going to push the certification up, at least make it something convincing. And maybe this is a good enough for straight folk who haven't ever seen lesbians having sex outside of Pornhub. But seriously, Riley and my character just kind of kiss and roll around a bit, show a bit of skin to get that girl on girl appeal. And that's meant to sell her as a sex goddess. Riley doesn't, you know, rev her engine even a little <clears throat> but what, what I'm saying is I got a plan it's a bit crazy probably breaks at least six rules relating to proper conduct while shooting a scene but it'll get that realistic feel alright plus if that doesn't shut up the director uh, nothing will want to hear it good I'm gonna ask the director to try just letting us do it our way for one take he'll say yes because he'll think it'll shut me up and then look thank you Riley you really put your neck on the line to save me from those hitmen not a lot of guys would help protect a woman who runs up to them in the street and claims to be a UN nuclear inspector on the run because she stumbled onto the plot to blow up Dubai. Even if you are an ex-CIA secret agent turned private security consultant, that's going above and beyond. 
And I want to thank you. I need you close. I want you to make love to me. Mm. Mm. Oh, Riley.